We have great numbers. The companies are very strong. They're very liquid. This is the Honey Badger. Watch it run in slow motion. It's pretty badass. Look, it runs all over the place. And frankly, if we had a different person in the Federal Reserve that wouldn't have raised interest rates so much, we would have been at least a point and a half higher. Whoa, watch out, says that bird. Ew, it's got a snake. Oh, it's chasing a jackal. Oh my gosh. Oh, the honey badgers are just crazy. I mean, 3.2 3. is good. He's my pick, I agree. But, you know, we also have people in there that weren't my pick. But he's my pick, and uh, I disagree with him entirely. As you know, it's independent. The honey badger has been referred to by the Guinness Book of World Records as the most fearless animal in all of the animal kingdom. It really doesn't give a shit. If it's hungry, it's hungry. Ew, what's that in its mouth? Oh, it's got a cobra? Oh, it runs backwards? Now watch this. Look, a snake's up in the tree. Honey badger don't care. Honey. I was going to ask you about that. What do you make of the critics who say it's just inappropriate for you to be talking about the Well, I'm allowed to. And, you know, in the old days, they used to speak to the head of the Federal Reserve often. And it was a part, very much a part of the administration from the standpoint is that talk and that really settle. You have no idea how important it is. Badger don't give a shit. It just takes what it wants. Whenever it's hungry, it just, ew, and it eats snakes. Oh my god, watch it dig. Look at that digging. The honey badger is really pretty badass. They have no regard for any other animal whatsoever. But I'm not happy with what he's done. I'm not happy with the fact that they've done quantitative tightening. Look, and it's just grunting and ew, eating snakes. Ew, what's that, a mouse? Oh, that's nasty. Oh, they're so nasty. Oh, look, it's chasing things and eating them. The honey badgers have a fairly long body, but a distinctly thick set, broad shoulders, and, you know, their, their skin is loose, allowing them to move about freely. Now, he doesn't make that decision himself, but I would think that the head of the Federal Reserve has quite a bit of power. No, I'm not happy. Now, now look, here's a house full of bees. You think the honey badger cares? It doesn't give a shit. It goes right into the house of bees to get some larva. How disgusting is that? It eats larva. Ew, that's so nasty. Do if, if you have we, any concern you're putting him in a box? Let, let me explain. Yes, I do. But I'm going to do it anyway because uh, I've waited long enough. But look, the honey badger doesn't care. It's getting stung like a thousand times. It doesn't give a shit. It just, it's hungry. It doesn't care about being stung by bees. Nothing can stop the honey badger when it's hungry. If he did the interest rate increases half as much, if he didn't do tightening, tightening means taking money out of the, out of the till. Oh, what a crazy fuck. Look. Ew, it's eating larva. That's disgusting. There it is. So that people can't use it for doing what they're doing. We call it quantitative tightening. If he didn't do tightening, if he did nothing or perhaps even loosened, we would be, in my opinion, just an opinion, 10,000 points higher than already a very high number. You know, we At nighttime, the honey badger goes hunting because it's hungry. Look, here comes a fierce battle between a king cobra and a honey badger. I wonder what'll happen. Look at this. There's the honey badger just eating a mouse. And then look, get away from me, says the snake. Get away from me. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger. From the time I got elected, we're about, we're almost 50% up of the stock market. But if he didn't do the tightening and if he didn't do so much of an interest, it's okay to raise interest rates a little bit, but so much, it would have been it would have been even better. But your badger smacks the shit out of it. And the snake comes back and it lashes right at the honey badger. Oh, little does the honey badger know, FYI, it's been stung. And I'll, and I'll tell you something, what I don't like is when you raise the interest rates, there's no inflation, there's virtually no inflation. It's been bitten by the snake, so while it's eating the snake, ew, that's disgusting. Meanwhile, the poisonous venom is seeping through the honey badger's body and it passes out. Look at that sleepy fuck. When you raise interest rates, that means you're paying more in debt. And I inherited almost $21 trillion in debt. I inherited that. Now the honey badger is just gonna pass out for a few minutes, and then it's gonna get right back up and start eating all over again because it's a hungry little bastard. Look, President Obama and Biden, they doubled the debt during their eight years, you know that. And it's been going I inherited up on your, on your Sure, too. but I have to rebuild the military. They doubled the debt and they didn't do anything. Look at this. Like nothing happened, the honey badger gets right back up and continues eating the cobra. How disgusting. And of course, what does the honey badger have to eat for the next three weeks? Cobra, the honey badger.